Hello everyone, my name is Fajar Purnama. As you can see here, I got my Trezor One, which is uh, the cheapest Trezor hardware wallet, around 48.76 euro. If you are uh, if you are serious in cryptocurrency or have a large amount of coins, I suggest you buy. Uh, it is very recommended that you get a hardware wallet for security reasons. And in this video, I'm going to guide you on how to get started in Trezor One. So first, is go to the wiki.trezor.io, search Google and search Trezor. You will eventually get leaded here, and this is the welcome page. Then just go ahead for the user's manual, and the, then user manual, and there is a, a very well a detailed guidance here but if you want to get started quickly just go to get started in five steps so the contents here is getting to know your treasure and you can just read the rest and unboxing your treasure here and then setting up your new device which is just you need to connect your device to the computer so here I will connect my treasure to my computer right now and here it is and it says go to treasure.io slash start and then go back here so in it tells you to go to number three setting up your new device and go straight to treasure.io slash start and then choose a device which is mine is a treasure one and it's here make sure that the seal is not broken Make sure that your treasure is authentic and nothing suspicious because if any malware or malicious person added something in here, they can steal your coins. So once everything is saved, continue and use it. If not, then contact treasure support. So as you can see here, check for device. So there is no device found. So because I haven't installed a treasure bridge. So install a treasure bridge uh, mainly if you're in Chrome you can choose to use a web USB device if you want but generally just use a treasure bridge so here there's a bridge is not installed if it's not installed it will be leaded to this page and you can choose whether on Windows Mac or as or Linux mine is a Windows for convenience because maybe most of the viewers here will be using Windows so just download which I already did download and then after that install you'll be led to this page if you're on Windows 10 if you're on Linux you're probably already experienced and you really don't need for me to show you this guide and it's just next install and install Please, so then please disconnect Trezor first, plug it out, and then OK. And installing previous drivers, next, and then start Trezor Bridge, close, and then after that is to reconnect your device. Here it is, and then here up and then setting up treasure short here and then go back to this page treasure wallet and IO check for device if not just refresh and this one also refresh so treasure is set up and ready to go so once it's ready, it will be like this. You can recover a seed phrase if you want, 12 words, 18 words, 24 words. Or here I just go create a new wallet since it's treasure. So preparing your treasure. So your treasure is ready. That was quick. okay so this is my account so let's so here in the Bitcoin BTC here are the coins that are supported ethereum Bitcoin I don't know if it if um, ethereum tokens is supported 
and then next is the my treasure menu the basics is you can change the level for example you can change it to my name Fajar Trezor and then change okay now confirm the treasure as you can see here just take a look it says do you want to change want to change name to Fajar Trezor and then confirm so just click this button and after that everything is confirmed okay so I press the wrong button I press the cancel button but oh well but then is to enable a pin and then go back to the treasure and here it is and then click the confirm this one and then please enter a new pin Let me do it again. Confirm. And here it is. Just click what kind of pin you want. For example, one, two. This is okay. So the number here is a random. So make sure you take a look at the treasure. But I'm not going to do this. Anyway, this is how you set a pin. Okay. So what else that is important? then is to go to wallet settings select in currency in, U in usd all the currency there's a wallet bitcoin okay not too important enable labeling in dropbox support center at account at legacy account okay let's go to home screen what is this home screen okay so you can set your home screen of your treasure you can even upload your own image if you want so there then there is an advance um, here it is if you want to enable fast phrase encryption you can do it here you can check recovery seat but this one is not yet backup so next time and if you want to start over from the beginning you can wipe everything okay next is to the wallet functionality go to account to receive for example here you are choose bitcoin to receive uh, bitcoin just go to receive and then show full address okay so this is the full address and then this is what is shown on my treasure um, here it is so it shows here show QR code if you want if I want to show a QR code then I should click this one and then the QR code is shown and then continue and then go back to the desktop the QR code is also shown on here and then send some BTC to this address so keep looking at your treasure and make sure that it's the correct address and then to send well is you don't use the well just keep on looking at the treasure but all you need to do is put in the address that you want to send and then send so nothing much to tell you here and here they even have they said if you haven't have any bitcoin if you want to buy from them you can buy or sell but i don't know about this maybe to your bank account but maybe some limited support and here is some exchange meaning that if you want to exchange some coins so like currency to buy this is to sell and what you want to buy what coins you want for example you want to exchange bitcoin to ethereum and do it like this so and that's it so the last thing you need to do oh here you can also sign and verify message if you want so the last thing that you need to do is go back to transaction create a backup so you make sure you back up your seed phrase and because if you don't have a backup and you want to restore or you for example whatever happened to your wallet you will lose all your coins forever and if you and make sure to secure it because if anyone who knows your seed phrase 
they will be able to steal your coins so this is how the backup process in the treasuries so it's not shown here but it's shown on the treasure for example like this this is the first word the second word the third word the fourth word the fifth word and then just write everything down and i'm going to reset this wallet because i'm i'm showing it to you to the audience so mine is no longer safe because it's already known in public so i'm going to destroy this wallet and create a new one so anything else i miss well anything else you can contact me or go to their support center and once uh, and to get and to open to use treasure again just visit wallet dot treasure dot io and then when wherever you want to use your treasure just go visit wallet dot treasure dot io and then you'll be led to this page again so and that's it i didn't have anything more to show you and thank you for watching